Fanatics, we're in the uh, sports, licensed sports merchandising business. This is Fanatics Commerce. We're building a tech center that is expanding here in Hyderabad. We're going to double our headcount from about 250 people to 500 over the next 24 months. In order to do that, we are moving into new offices. They're going to be three times the size of the current office space, which has a max capacity of around 270 people. We are focused really on engineering, data science, the application of AI and ML, bringing technology and data to bear on building great fan experiences for sports fans around the world. All sports, all teams, all, all the leagues. We have not expanded into India, but we have expanded into markets like Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Obviously, North America and Europe, where football and, and uh, you know hockey, baseball, all those sports are very popular. The other thing that we shared was we gave an overview of the Fanatics Holding Company, which essentially we are five. We gave example of five companies, so we represent Fanatics Commerce, but we have companies uh, that help produce, manufacture, and enable trading cards. We have a betting and sports com uh, gaming company. And then we also have an events company that helps bring together athletes, fans, celebrities, so that really they can take pride in, in their team and enjoy a championship game win or, or any other thing that, that they're proud of. Right now, we are focused on the technological expansion. So we already have 250 people. Fanatics is not new to Hyderabad. We've been here since 2018. What today we are announcing is a strategic sort of shift in how we are going to double our investment. Um, so we'll have a lot more technological uh, talent that that we'll onboard uh, onto our company. And they will work on global products, platform, uh, highly technical projects that enable us to grow and get to the next level as we shared, right? Like our business is very global and and teams here get an opportunity to make a global impact. So we are very, very aware, uh, not just globally, but like, you know, we have 250 employees. Many of them have joined Fanatics because they are they are sports fans and that's one of the draw. Um, so we are continuously evaluating at, at new markets, new games, like Matthias had shared. We have a very wide ranging spread of sports that we are engaged in and we are we are looking at cricket um, whenever is the right time we'll share. Yeah, the other thing I just want to add, we, we announced today that Abhishek is joining us as the VP and general manager of this new uh, phase of growth that we're launching here in Fanatics. So he reports into my organization. I'm the CTO and I'm very excited to have him on board. He's going to really help us establish that strong leadership team that we need to have on the ground here so that we can grow locally and also have uh, the teams become um, more autonomous, right? Today, a lot of work happens across time zones. You have time zone coupling. That is not very effective. Instead, we want to make the teams here uh, create a sustainable sustainable organization where the teams here can actually take on you know, high impact projects and execute them more independently and you know, help us build our cloud commerce capability, which is really what powers the fan experience. Yeah, thank you.